Have you ever wondered why you experience things? I know it's a bizarre question, but think about it for a second. So why then do we feel something when we see the red of a rose, for example, or the beauty of a sunset? This is called the hard problem of consciousness, and it's called that because, well, it's hard. Now, neuroscientists obviously don't believe in magic, and that's why some scientists are turning to panpsychism as a solution. You see, panpsychism argues that the only way to explain the brain having this consciousness property is if matter itself has some form of consciousness already built in. And there are some wild implications of this. If all matter is conscious, then what about your computer or the phone that you're on or your hat? Or what about life after death? If our consciousness is locked into something more fundamental than the brain, then could we continue on in some form after we die? These questions are speculative, of course, and highly controversial, but with each passing year, panpsychism is being taken more seriously by science. 